are pineapples apples that grow on pine? How big is Bigfoot's foot? And Merry Christmas! It's the most wonderful time of the year! I love the lights, the presents, but most of all, I love Christmas PJs! Do you like Christmas PJs? Oh! I have a great idea! Next week, let's have a Christmas pajama party! Whether you join online or come in person, Wear your Christmas pajamas next week. Today we'll get to hear about the Christmas story. And no, it's not about reindeers or snowmen or elves or the big guy with the red hat, but it's about a baby who was born in a... Well, that's a surprise. You're going to love it. See you in a bit. Christmas, friend! My name is Tolu. Let's say our memory verse. God loved the world so much that he gave his only son. John 3.16 Great job. Let's say it again. But this time like... Like Santa! Ho! 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 God loved the world so much that he gave his only son. 
John 3.16. Ho, ho, ho. Great job. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho. Know what time it is? Time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. We miss you at the Wonder Clubhouse. We miss you. Oh, hi friends, I'm Luca. Check out our awesome train. My dad helped me make it, but I think we can make it even more fun with special decorations. Here we go. Ta-da! I think it's time for All Aboard! Oh wait, we don't know where we're going yet. Where should we go? This train is so fancy. We could drive to a sparkly big castle. Or we could go to a super fancy dinner. And it definitely seems like we should be driving to meet someone super important. Oh, I know. We can drive this fancy train to meet someone super important at a sparkly castle to eat a super fancy dinner! Ho! Ho! It's Ollie! Hello, Luca! Ho! Ho! Going somewhere important, are you? Oh, hi, Ollie! My train is so cool, I want to drive it someplace awesome and fancy! That's a great idea! It's true! But places that aren't fancy can be important, too! Listen to this story! Just follow me through. Follow me through, follow me through who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. Oh, <laughs> hello friends. Merry almost Christmas to you. I'm Carrie the dog walker and this is my best dog. <laughs> Sorry best train conducting assistant, Stormy Jane. And we want to know if you're ready to learn the next part of the true story of Christmas. <laughs> I think that means Stormy's ready. Well, the Christmas train is coming to help me tell today's true story from the Bible. If you're ready to board the Christmas story train, on the count of three, say, all aboard. Ready? One, two, three. All aboard. The true story of Christmas begins with a young girl named Mary. God sent an angel with an important message for Mary. The angel said that Mary was going to have a baby and that baby would be Jesus, God's son. Wow, God loves us so much that he gave us his son, Jesus. Well, not long after that, Mary and Joseph had to travel a long way to the town of Bethlehem. Can you guess what animal Mary might have been riding? There's Joseph and Mary, Stormy Jane. You're not supposed to be in the story, silly dog. Back up, let's try that again. So there's Joseph and Mary. And what animal is Mary riding? Yes, a donkey, that's right. Can everyone say hee haw, hee haw? Ready? Hee-haw, hee-haw. <laughs> Very good. When Mary and Joseph got to Bethlehem, they needed to find a place to stay in quick. Jesus, God's son, was about to be born. Now tell me, is Jesus being born a little special or a big whole lot of special? Yes, Jesus being born is a big whole lot of special. So where did Mary and Joseph stay? Did they stay somewhere fancy like a giant castle? No. Or did they stay somewhere not fancy, like a stable full of animals? Yep, that's where they stayed. It wasn't fancy. <laughs> what was that? A 
chicken? Can you make a sound like a chicken? <laughs> and that's not all. There were sheep. Can you make a sheep sound? <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Wait. Everybody stop and listen. Shh. What's that sound? It's not a sheep. What is it? Yes. It's a baby. Baby Jesus was born. And Mary wrapped him up and she placed him in a manger full of straw. Jesus, God's son, had been born. God gave us Jesus. Oh, that's the whistle. It means it's time for the Christmas story train to leave. But it'll be back because there's more to the true story of Christmas. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Ollie, tell me, how do we know God loves us? God gave us Jesus. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, how do we know God loves us? God gave us Jesus. That's the truth, friends. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus wasn't born somewhere fancy, but he's the most special gift for me and you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, Jesus wasn't born somewhere fancy, but Jesus is special because Jesus is God's son. God loves us so much, he gave us Jesus. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. I don't have to drive somewhere fancy for it to still be special. So, all aboard. See you next time. Chugga, 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 choo, choo. Fly me! Jesus was born in a stable surrounded by animals. What an incredible story! But did you know that the story isn't over yet? Jesus got visitors. Come back next week and see who came to see him. But for now, I have a question. What is Christmas all about? Talk about that with your family and I'll give you a hint. Our Bible story today had the answer. See you here next week at my kids. And don't forget to wear your PJs. Ta-ta.